Today we shall be presenting a 354 million year old sea urchin. This is a fossil found in the USA. It belongs to a sea urchin that lived 354 million years ago. As you know, today's sea urchins have a round and spiky appearance. If we now imagine this specimen being pressed and flattened from on top, we can gain some idea of how this organism was fossilized. The sea urchin is a member of the echinoderm family from the class Echinodia, which are typically spherical and symmetrical life forms. In other words, it is symmetrical and spherically symmetric. That means that from whichever direction we look at it, both surfaces will be equal to one another. It has very interesting properties. These life forms can walk, we can say, with their transparent arms or feet. This is not common among echinoderms because they are transparent and can move and feed in this way. They can survive on the seabed. If we now count its spines and have a general look at its anatomy, there is no difference between sea urchins as they were 354 million years ago and their present day forms. Indeed, if change or mutation happens, it is deadly to a life form. This may happen through radioactive effects or mankind may produce them themselves. But, if an organism's DNA is changed on the molecular level, then undesirable deformities that should not happen will take place in its body, or it will die. This is known as mutation, such as when changes come about as a result of radioactivity or toxic substances. Human beings can also change it, and this is known as gene therapy. But in no case is there any question of a structure that might lead to an extra limb in an organism's body, a significant gene, or an extra enzyme that might be beneficial to its DNA. And since its DNA does not change, neither will its phenotype. In other words, DNA and phenotypes are inextricably interconnected. We can see that these two factors are the same here. To summarize, we see that living things have never changed, neither in terms of DNA nor of phenotypes, and that evolution never happened. This 354 million year old sea urchin is a typical example of this.